What sets us humans apart from the other people we share this planet with is, is, our, is our ability to do a vast, immense amount of things. We have animals who specialize in only, say, hunting or hiding or flying long distances, but as humans, we, ha we do all of this and much more, and whatever we can't do, we come up with devices and methods to make sure that we can do it. So the theme of today's event is limitless paradigms. Now, what exactly are paradigms? A paradigm is an example or pattern, especially one underlying a method or theory. So this essentially means that any structured thought or idea can qualify as a paradigm. Now, I'm not here to preach to you on how to live your life. I'm 16 years old. I'm probably as young as the vast majority of you here. But I'm here instead to talk to you about solving problems. We face problems in life every single day. We walk past them. You may have had a problem getting here on time. You may have a problem with how dark the place is. You may have problems outside. You may have problems with friends, family. Everywhere there are problems. So what we do we, is we solve problems. The basic crux of human advancement is solving problems. Whether It doesn't matter what the problem is. It can be... How did the earth come about? Or how can I make this plane fly faster? Or how can I reduce the distance between my room and the fridge full of chocolate? Whenever we solve problems, we make progress. We move forward. Moving closer to chocolate is definitely progress. So one of the problems I was recently faced with was finding out exactly what a paradigm is. So I decided to go the old-fashioned way. Now, I'm a programmer, so I have smartphones and everything, but sometimes the dictionary is the best way to go about it. Yes, they still exist. So it comes to the problem of searching data. Now, a dictionary has thousands of words, and I'm obviously not going to sit and comb through each and every one of them just to find paradigms. So I thought to myself, how can I make this easier? How can I do this faster? And I thought that... Okay, it's an English dictionary, so it's obviously going to have English words. The English language has 26 alphabets, and it's alphabetically arranged. So if I split it in half, I'm going to end up in N, which is the 13th al alphabet of our language. And P comes after N, so I can simply ignore everything that came before. And I split the latter half, which would put me somewhere in about S or R. Now, P comes before that, so I split the former half. I carry on doing this, and I eventually reach paradigms. So this, this what I just did, is an algorithm. It's, we've been using it since ever since we began amassing knowledge, and we have lots of it. So, but this is also used in computer science. In computer science, we call this a binary search, and it is one of the most fundamental algorithms in computer science. So what computer scientists did was, when faced with searching data, they took one of our oldest methods and applied it to one of our newest technologies. They took a paradigm straight out of history from the ancient Greeks, from the Egyptians, Indians, and applied it into something that we invented less than 100 years ago. Along with computers, though we solved many problems with them, we ended up raising a lot more. So we also devised programming languages to allow us to control the computers. Now, there's well over a 1,000 programming languages, and no one in their right mind is going to sit and learn all of them. I've been doing this for about eight years, and I've only managed to learn some 20 of them. So it's not feasible to learn all. But as I was learning them, I realized that after, after about my fourth language, it hit me that when I learn a new language, it doesn't feel like learning a new language entirely anymore. The programming concepts behind the base structure remains the same. It doesn't matter what language I'm using. The steps I use to achieve my solution are always the same. I just write them out differently. The words change. The, maybe the colors on the screen change. The style changes. But the base concepts remain the same. This, this led me to realize that Every day in life, we know a lot of things. And sometimes we go out and we say, I don't know something. Like a computer scientist may go and say, I don't know Java, but I know .NET. Instead, what they do know is programming. Programming is a concept. Just like that, we know many other concepts. We are familiar with them. And we don't realize it, but we can use them elsewhere in our lives. 
and solve problems that we might otherwise believe we can't. Now, so far, I have spoken about reusing paradigms, taking them from history or taking them from what you already know, but humans have come up with a lot of their own paradigms, paradigms of society, how we behave, how it is structured, how our education system works. Sometimes you want to break free of them, you need to break free of them. This is what I did. So I was, I was nine years old when I started programming and I have over the past eight years made websites, made software applications, and for the past four years, mainly mobile apps and wearable technology like Google Glass and smartwatches. I did this because I enjoyed it, because when I started doing it, nobody told me that you're nine years old, you can't do this. I knew I could, and so I did. And over the years, I realized that this gives me an advantage over others. I have eight years of experience with something that most university graduates would have just learned. So the point I'm making is that there are thousands of problems out there. We walk past them every single day. We may not even realize it's a problem. As Henry Ford once said, if I had asked people what they wanted, they would have asked for faster horses. Instead, he saw a problem of transportation and he solved it. He invented the automobile. Today, Ford Motors is one of the biggest automobile manufacturers on this planet, with numerous achievements to the name, like setting up the first assembly line. Sometimes it does not matter where you work. It does not matter what you know. What matters, instead, is what you can do with what you know, what changes you're ready to make in the world with it. Thank you.